How to clean grout with vinegar. If the grout between your tiles has turned from white to brown, it's ready to be cleaned. Fortunately, there are several homemade grout cleaning solutions you can make with vinegar. Most of them involve baking soda, a compound which, when mixed with vinegar creates a bubbly, fizzing reaction that's perfect for cleaning grout. After applying your vinegar solution, use a scouring pad, a toothbrush, or some other cleaning implement to scrub your grout. Grout lines between tiles can quickly accumulate dirt and stains, making your beautiful tiles lose their luster. In this helpful video, we'll show you how to effectively clean grout using a simple and natural solution, vinegar. Welcome to Best Choices. This video will tell you how to using vinegar alone, using baking soda paste, and making vinegar sprays. Now let's get started. Things you'll need. Vinegar. Spray bottle, toothbrush, baking soda, ammonia, salt, lemon juice, dish rag, scouring sponge. Method 1 Using vinegar alone. Number 1 Apply vinegar to the grout. Use a vinegar-soaked cloth or a spray bottle filled with vinegar to coat the grout you wish to get clean. If you are trying to clean grout on a vertical surface, a spray bottle is probably your best bet. After applying the vinegar, wait 10 minutes before moving on to the next step. Always use distilled white vinegar or specialized cleaning vinegar to clean grout. Number 2. Scrub the grout. 10 minutes after applying the grout, use a toothbrush to scrub the grout. Use firm up and down motions to scrub the grout clean. Number 3. Wipe the grout. Use a dry or damp rag to remove the loosened grout grime. Allow the area to dry, then evaluate it. If the grout still needs cleaning, try a different method. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Using baking soda paste. Number 1. Make a baking soda paste. Combine about 2 tablespoons of baking soda with about 1 tablespoon, 15 milliliters of water. The mixture should not be too thin. If it sloshes about in the bowl you mixed it in, add some more baking soda to help it achieve a more paste-like texture. It also shouldn't be too thick. If the mixture is thick and dry, and doesn't adhere well to the fork or spoon you use to mix it, add some water to thin it out. The more grout you have to clean, the more paste you'll need. You can also use an oxidizing bleach powder instead of baking soda. Number 2. Apply the paste to the grout. The easiest way to apply the paste to the grout is with your finger. Simply scoop a little dollop of the paste onto your fingertip and smear it in an even layer across the grout you wish to clean. Number 3. Mix water and vinegar. In a spray bottle, combine water and vinegar in a 1 to 1 ratio. For instance, you might combine 1.5 cups, 354 milliliters vinegar with 1.5 cups, 354 milliliters water. To prevent grout from accumulating grime in the shower, just spray this mixture onto the shower grout two or three times weekly after getting out of the shower. Number four. Spray the mixture onto the paste. Point the nozzle of the spray bottle toward the baking soda paste you've smeared along the grout. Squeeze the handle of the bottle. Repeat as necessary until all of the paste has bubbled up somewhat. You may have to wait about 5 minutes for the vinegar and baking soda to react. Number 5. Scrub the grout. 
Once the paste has become fizzy with the application of the vinegar mixture, use a stiff bristle toothbrush to scrub the grout clean. Use a toothbrush you aren't planning on using again for anything but detail cleaning. Number 6. Wipe the grout. Once you've loosened the grime and grit along your grout, it should wipe away with ease. Take a damp rag or paper towel and wipe it along the grout you've cleaned. Wipe the area along the edges of the grout, too, to soak up any of the lingering water or vinegar. If you want to give your floor an additional level of shine, mop the whole thing after you're done. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Making Vinegar Sprays Number 1. Make a citrus vinegar spray. Mix 3.5 cups, 828 milliliters hot water, half a cup, 170 grams baking soda, 1 sixth cup, 40 milliliters vinegar, and 1 third cup, 80 milliliters lemon juice in a spray bottle. Aim the nozzle of the spray bottle at the grout you wish to clean. Spray the bottle so that the grout is evenly covered. After one hour, scrub the grout with the scouring side of a sponge to remove the dirt crusted into the grout. Number 2. Try a salty vinegar mix. Combine a quarter cup, 21 grams salt, a quarter cup, 21 grams baking soda, and a quarter cup vinegar, 60 milliliters in a tall cup or small bowl. Let the solution sit for 20 minutes, then use a small spoon to apply the mixture to the grout. Using a toothbrush or scouring pad, scrub the grout until clean. Once you're finished, mop the grout or use a damp cloth to wipe the grime away. Number 3. Use an ammonia solution. Mix 3.5 cups, 828 milliliters hot water, a quarter cup, 21 grams baking soda, 1 third cup, 80 milliliters ammonia, and a quarter cup, 60 milliliters vinegar. Pour the mixture into a spray bottle. Wait 60 minutes, then spray the grout you wish to clean. Use a scouring sponge to remove the dirt from the grout. Wipe the grime away with a damp rag. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Can I use Oxyclean to clean grout? Although oxyclean is called oxygen bleach, it is actually made of a combination of dry hydrogen peroxide and sodium carbonate, which is similar to baking soda. It is less toxic to the environment and more color safe than bleach. Powdered oxyclean is safe for use on grout when mixed with water to form a liquid or paste and applied with a cloth, sponge, or grout scrubber. Give the solution from 5 to 30 minutes to sit on the grout before scrubbing away and rinsing. Does magic eraser work on grout? A magic eraser and a little warm water can remove residue from the surface of tiles and could be a simple addition to your regular grout cleaning routine. In particular, regular wiping with a dampened magic eraser sponge can remove some of the gray surface on white grout. For heavier stains, you may want to choose it as your first scrubbing option instead of a brush or soft cloth, then progress to something tougher if needed. Tips 1. Cleaning grout with vinegar is a tedious and time-intensive process. Don't try to clean all the grout in your house at once using vinegar. Instead, do the grout in your kitchen one day, the grout in your bathroom the next day, and so on. 2. Do not use vinegar on marble, limestone, or travertine tile. Its acidic content could cause damage. 3. Always use distilled white vinegar or specialized cleaning vinegar to clean grout. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.